with the cost of living growing excessively and electricity prices going through the roof, I'm taking the time to share with you some of the things I've learned from having solar. I'm not an expert or an advisor, I'm simply someone trying to navigate these tricky times and save myself and my family some money. On June the 17th, our 7.4 kilowatt system was switched on. As a family, we've consumed 1,762 kilowatt hours of electricity. I put my family in the heavy usage category. Of that 1,762 kilowatt hours, my solar system has provided 1,398 kilowatt hours of electricity, which works out at around 405 pounds generated from the sun. The remaining 364 kilowatt hours, or 105 pounds in everyday money, has been supplied by the grid. Without my solar, my bill for the last 48 days would have been 510 pounds as opposed to 105. With prices set to increase in October, I have been exploring my usage. I've used the Give Energy app to see real-time usage of appliances, what pulls large amounts of electricity and what doesn't. In today's episode, I test an electric vehicle, toaster, kettle, an induction hob, an air conditioner, and a few other bits to see what I can live with and what I can live without. I'll time code everything in the description so you can jump to the item that you want to see most. I hope you enjoy it. Before we jump into some of the results, let me explain how the Give Energy app displays information. At the top, we have the solar generation, and in the middle, which is going to be the most important one, that is the demand from the house. To the left hand side, we have our battery and what our battery is doing, and then the right hand side, the one I try and avoid the most, unless I'm giving it electricity, is the grid.
So there you have it. There's some scary moments in there. In particular, the I think the kettle was pretty bad. I also think the under floor heating is horrific. We we don't really use it anyway, but that's really affirmation that we won't be using it again. I hope you find that useful today. I will be sharing some more solar insights as I go along on this journey. I am not an expert at this and I will never declare to be an expert in energy usage or solar. Regular guy, regular dad, trying to figure this out as I go along. So whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one and I will catch you later.